Hey guys, it's Dan. I got some book mail. Um, this is in regards to my last, most recent TBR video. Since I don't really film TBR videos, it should be easy to know which one I'm talking about without coming right out and saying it. But yeah, um, I mentioned the third volume of the Kandisha Press Women in Horror Anthology, and I didn't even realize that we got mail on President's Day. I assumed that President's Day was a federal holiday and that there wouldn't be any mail today. But I happened to see tracks in the snow and I was like, hmm, apparently I got a package. So let's open this up. And this time you guys can really see what the book looks like as opposed to like me showing you like a you know, I, what you call it. Okay, a little sticky note from the, the owner of the press. But here it is, The One That Got Away, Volume 3. And then on the back it says, What doesn't kill me might make me kill you. Women authors from around the world were challenged to write about The One That Got Away. Here you'll find tales of unrequited love, Blind dates gone wrong, stalkers and their prey, cursed guitars, alien symbiotes, sinister letters, and bitter acts of revenge. Dive into their murky depths and discover what hides inside the minds of women scorned. Ooh, I like this. I like it a lot. And the artwork is really fantastic. The artwork is done by a Lucy Canvas. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's got... Something about the Fright Girl Summer recommended reading, too. Oh, sweet. I'm just going to name off some of the authors in this book so that way you guys can under you know know if there's any some big names that I'm familiar with. It looks like there's a lot of the same names from the prior two volumes. Uh, Sonora Taylor's in here. Catherine McCarthy, who I'm friends with on Twitter. Vic May Mist is in here. Janine Pipe. She's another one from Twitter. Gwendolyn Keist does the foreword, which is really damn cool. And I don't really, don't really recognize any of these other names. But yeah, like I mentioned in my TBR video, anthologies are where it's at. You know, this is a great way to discover um, other authors you may not have read before. It's like a little sampler, like I always like to say, it's a little little sampler, so that way you can kind of learn and see what their writing style is, and you know, maybe they might write a certain topic or, you know, subgenre, something you might really enjoy, so they're always worth, I, I like collecting anthologies, and on my wish list on Amazon, I've got like a ton of a ton of these anthologies that I want to read just because of like different themes and I love the fact that she put out a call for a certain challenge and that's that's another reason why I love anthologies because I love when authors even if it's an author I've read before I like seeing how they're how they respond to a challenge to see you know what they're going to come up with story wise so that's pretty darn cool um, I'm going to have a link down below for you guys to check this out, the Kandisha Press, as well. Um, not only just the Amazon link. I'm going to throw it out my coffee link, too, if you got something from watching this this unboxing. Yeah. Women in Horror Month, guys. Go read some diverse fiction. Go check out this book. I Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get to this this month and read this before the end of the month. If not, then I'll save it for another time further down the run, the line. I feel like I might have been overly ambitious with my TBR. and I'm, I don't know. Hopefully I'm not too overly ambitious with my TBR. Because there's a lot of great books that I want to read. And I really want to read these this month. But that's it, guys. That's all I got for you. Stay tuned for the reviews of these Women in Horror anthologies. This has been Dan. Till next time. Take it easy.